What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla from All Day ABA and my mission is to make behavior analysis fun and accessible for clients, therapists, and even supervisors. Today, we're going to talk about B7 in the fifth edition task list, which covers the terms automatic and socially mediated reinforcement. Click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to help me grow this channel and to stay up to date on the latest videos. If you haven't already watched the other videos for the fifth edition task list yet, feel free to do so after this. In this video, I'm going to teach you the definitions of automatic and socially mediated reinforcement, and I'm also going to provide examples of each. Let's get started. Automatic reinforcement is reinforcement that is not socially mediated. In other words, it is not mediated by another person. Automatic reinforcement means that a person can reinforce themselves. Automatic reinforcement can be identified by whether or not a person still engages in a behavior when they're alone. Knuckle cracking could be one example of automatic reinforcement. Most people crack their knuckles whether or not other people are around. I twirl my hair constantly. I do it while I'm bored, I do it while I'm at work, I do it pretty much anywhere. Twirling my hair is automatically reinforcing. Other forms of stimming are also automatically reinforcing. This could include hand flapping, rocking, and more. I think everybody stims in one way or another. Leave a comment below with the ways that you stim to help reduce the stigma around these types of behaviors. They're very natural and very common. Socially mediated reinforcement is reinforcement that occurs because of another person. Making social media posts that receive likes and comments is an example of socially mediated reinforcement. Giving high fives and other forms of affection can also be types of socially mediated reinforcement. Getting your food delivered to your doorstep is a type of socially mediated reinforcement. Don't forget to tip your delivery drivers well if you live in the United States like I do. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with others so that they can learn more about applied behavior analysis. Check out the All Day ABA Study Materials Facebook group if you would like to see more of me during your time online. And don't worry, it's free. If you are looking for flashcards to study these terms, I have linked my flashcards bundle below. Visit the All Day ABA blog if you would like to read more behavior analytic content after watching these videos. And you can also subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.